the exciting part where we try to create a partition between three and four. So next, partition number five. Let's see what it actually gives us by default. Actually, that's right. That's mm -hmm. right. 504, 631. Correct. Um, oh, it's gonna oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's correct. Perfect. Yeah, this is one smart. Cookie. This is one smart cookie. Um, oh, what what is the? Um, here we're keeping the the uh, the first so EFI thing. Oh, you left it at eighty three hundred, did you? Mm, I must have done. Okay. Interesting how it writes it out like that, but whatever. So how much do we get? 235 gigabyte. 235. Yeah, that's right. I think it's right. Hell yeah, it's right. It's a shame I've got more windows than anything else. Yeah, it wouldn't allow us to shrink it any further, did it? Uh, just double check it's recording. It is recording. Okay, so now we need to do all the crypto stuff. Oh man, what was that new partition called? Uh, is it M U or something? Okay, it's two three five. It's P five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, crypt setup, minus y, minus v, logs format, dev, mv, me, n1, p5. That looks right. Okay, yes. Bye-bye. Okay, this is where you type in the passphrase. Oh. It's got to be secret. Uh, it's on the camera. Should I? What is it? Is it? Away. Just turn it. Oh, just turn it to that side. I can still see your hands actually. <laughs> Better. Boom. So okay. Can I put it on Dropbox? Um, whatever, dude. So, my friend here has typed in the password. Brilliant. Crypt root. She gets up. Okay, now we're back. We've created the encrypted thing. We set the password. We've unlocked it. So now it's like a on dev map. Oh yeah. I guess if sixty four. I still recommend the XT4. No butter FS. No butter FS. No butter. No butter. No butter, baby. That's great. Okay. No. So now it's, it's like unencrypted right now. When it's a dev mapper. Yeah, this first partition is mounted here. And this is where the existing window stuff is. Mm -hmm. This is where window this is how Windows boots it. But but in this other example I'm I'm recreating what's what's already there. So so what oh, okay. So the interesting thing about EFI, it's a standard and, and Windows follows it and Linux follows it. What so is EFI? 
it's it's a fancy I don't know what it stands for. It's just a fancy name for the boot partition now before your sure other drives. What's U E F O? I don't know. United. Same thing. What's M B R? Just stop it now. Stop it. It's madness. Okay, now. Okay, that's. I think we're like two steps ahead now. No, I, I missed a step here. We need to pack strap. Yeah, here we go. Pack strap mount. Two gigabit internet right here. Right here. This is Singapore. Represent. Two pack strap. Pack strap. Two gigabit pack strap. Two pack strap. In the club. He alive. He right here. Damn, damn. Roll the music. Damn. So hopefully this won't take too long. Winter is a bit slow actually, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, you know what we did? We haven't we didn't adjust the mirror list. Assholes. Oh. Just put um, Singapore in there? Yeah. Sure. For sure, it's just not. Um, visual. Is one not using? Whatever. Huh? Where's Singapore? Singapore, where are you? It's not alphabetical. I like how quickly this updates. Wow, hmm? The screen, I think, updates quite well. Ready? Um, slash where the fuck is Singapore? Ready slash slash. There it is. Second one now. Oh, God, it's in US server. Let's hope to God this works. We love you, NUS. We love you, NUS. Great university. Oh, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> <laughs> they can't run a mirror. They're, little <laughs> uh, they're just working on it. They're, they're, they're working on it. They're working on it. Um, technical difficulties, as per usual for the last ten years. This guy runs a mirror, and I actually met him. He's had some bad days, but. It, Kind of work, missed. Um. Yes! Represent two gigabit. Here, it's happening. It's happening, man. This is what I'm talking about. I was referring to earlier today. Oh, hmm. shit. Okay, um, I oh, the strap. I'm out. What happened? You need to probably install Arsenic's keyring. Keyring? Yes. I hate this crap. And then... I really hate this crap. No, we're, no, we're good. Boom! Oh, what did I do there? Boot CTL. Arch series mount. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is quick, isn't it? It's nice. Oh, I start getting these messages up. Am I? The AIC and the WD. What's the WD? What? Missing firmware stuff. Oh, I don't worry about that. It's normal. Mm. <laughs> it's normal. It's normal to hear yeah, that that's normal in Arch World. <laughs> Okay, that looked good. Um, oh yeah, I have to. So it is blocked. It's, uh... 
the crypt roots. This is your bad boy. I'm still there. Sorry, I keep forgetting Caps Lock because I'm used to using this. Caps Lock is escape now. Actually, I'm mine. Um, I think I'm using something else. Mine, I use SD Encrypt. Yeah, I use SD though. Yeah, well, oh, fuck it. You should just copy me. Things have moved on. Things have moved on since I last did it. I think. Uh, System D has its own little hooks. Okay. Boot. Boot loader. <laughs> Following my own terrible instructions. Let's set up the boot. Things haven't changed. There, there is a system being scripted to do it, but uh, ArchNex, I believe, hasn't integrated it for whatever reason. Arch.com. Okay. Title ArchNex. Encrypted, baby. Linux. And one typo, and you get the most horrible boot message. I gotta check this. Sometimes it all out. So what is this doing? Um, this this tells the tells the bootloader where the Linux kernel is. this one Paste. device equals paste oh no yeah you don't need to worry about the uh, quote It's exciting, isn't it? I think my camera only can record it like 30 minutes at a time. Just doing the crypt root bit. That's right. See the Linux is the VM Linux. Should be the same as what I typed there. VM Linux Linux. In a RAM access times image. Yeah. I don't know what's left. I can't remember what's left. Oh, you probably want to put a Windows uh, entry in there. Oh, do we? Um, so it'll pop up in the menu. Or... Yeah. Okay, I think, that's I think I've got that on my machine. See, encrypt is being configured. Okay. What, what does that mean? Um, it gives you, it sets up this this 
systemd hooks to prompt you for your password on boot. Um, let me just see if I can find boot was it loader entries. So one of them here is, uh, oh no, I might have deleted it. Oh yeah, my Windows on one um, <laughs> No, but uh, we can fix, let's just see if this works and then we can fix it later. Mm, yeah, let's double check it's recording. Still recording. We're still recording. We're good. Time for the reboot. The reboot. Okay. Oops. Um, yeah, the, it should unmount everything for us. You see, Linux Boot Manager, Windows Boot Manager. Why have I got the third one then? I don't know. <laughs> so it does recognize the Windows. The yeah, yeah, it Windows is. Windows so I think we're done. I think we're done. Now just uh, install GNOME and. Uh... <laughs> oh. Oh. Something's wrong. Oh no. Uh, yes. I guess. What is that? Can't read it. The start job is. There's something wrong with the UID, I guess. I, I, must, I must have made a typo. Did you put the wrong UID? UID? Mm, let's see if I can find how I did it. Yeah. No, you know why I don't do this myself. <laughs> Why can't they just put a one one click installer on this thing? Please. That would be easy. Please, Mr. Arch, Linux, please make a one click installer. I beg of you. I don't even know where we are here. I know the purists will say that. Uh, the object of Arch. If you're not brave enough to weather the storm. Okay, what what just happened here? Uh, Dev map equip root. Time out. This is Google. Uh, crypt root timeout. No prompt. Here we go. Someone else had the same problem. 